Welcome to week two, day three of James. Today we are actually going to be reading from the New Living Translation, starting in chapter three, verse one. Dear brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers in the church, for we who teach will be judged more strictly. Indeed, we all make many mistakes, for if we could control our tongues, we would also we would be perfect and could also control ourselves in every other way. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. But a tiny spark can set the great forest on fire. And among all the parts of the body, the tongue is a flame of fire. It is a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. Hello. Well, wasn't this an interesting section? Um, I think that what's kind of um, interesting to me about this section is that it never mentions the heart, that it talks about the tongue being a fire and corrupt and set on fire by hell. And, uh, but it, it, it never talks about that coming from the heart. Although I'm pretty sure that when I look at Jesus teachings, that that's what he's talking about is that your tongue comes from what your heart, um, believes that out of the heart speaks the tongue, which we've talked about in some of the other vlogs. Um, so I guess I think that part of what he's saying here, let me know what you think in the comments, is that when you have a, a corruptness in your heart, then um, the first thing, the first place that that's gonna show up is gonna be in your tongue and what you speak. That's where we're, that's like our first indication before like actions and behaviors a lot of times you'll see the, you'll see it coming out in what we say. So that's like our alert system, right? Is um, we may not catch it in our thoughts, but if we don't catch it in our thoughts, then it will come in our words. But of course, just to try to change your tongue without changing your heart isn't gonna get at the heart of the problem. <laughs> So, um, that's kind of what I was thinking about with that. One of the things that when I was thinking about where in my life do I see my tongue being a problem, uh, especially, you know, I did the last 24 hours thing and looked at my life broadly. One of the things that I thought about was, um, one of the complaints I get from people I live with <laughs> is, uh, my tone. I mean, sometimes it's certainly more than my tone, but... For me, that's one of the places that it shows up first is in my tone. And unfortunately, I don't, I'm not even always aware of my tone, which means I'm not aware of what's going on in my heart. But if my tone is showing that there is corruption in my heart, like malice and judgment and condemnation, then, then I need to think about that because that means that my tone is showing Basically, the the fires of hell are setting um, these these condemning thoughts in my heart, and I need to be really open my eyes to be aware of those, um, so that Satan's not having his way in my heart. So those are some of my thoughts from today. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I will throw this in there because it's kind of an interesting side note. I was talking to Pastor Todd before we started, James, and he was telling me that um, James is so focused on the on the work side versus the faith side that Martin Luther didn't even want it included in the canon of the Bible. So that's kind of interesting. I've kind of had that floating around the back of my mind while I've been reading it, but it's really good. I think I think that when I read it in light of Jesus' teachings and keep in mind that it's the heart that goes behind 
the tongue and it's the heart that's behind works and deeds that um, it's a really amazing book but I do kind of see what Martin Luther was saying because James doesn't explicitly say that about the heart so anyways would love to hear your comments you guys and Jesus we praise you